Tracking breaking news tonight after a Valley Metro bus crashed into a security guard post. This all happened near 22nd Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road. We know that one man was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Team 12's Jonathan McCall is on the scene of that crash right now. And Jonathan, what can you tell us? Yeah, in just the last few minutes, Mark Caribe, good evening. Phoenix police telling us that security guard that was inside of that post at the time of this crash is expected to survive. It is a miracle that that is going to happen considering that is the scene that actually happened when that crash happened. That post that you can see, that mangled mess onto the right side of your screen is exactly where that guard was inside when he was hit by that bus right now. Uh, drivers with Valley Metro trying to clean up this scene just moving that bus in the last few minutes or so but the good news that we just learned from phoenix police a man inside of that post at the time is expected to survive his injuries let's show you some video we first learned about this scene around six o'clock tonight fire crews say they were called to the valley metro bus depot on lower buckeye road after receiving a call about a bus hitting a structure that structure according to a few workers that we talked with is the security guard booth at the entrance of that depot workers we talked with said that someone was inside that booth at the time fire crews as we mentioned say initially that person that security guard inside the booth at the time taken to the hospital in critical condition uh, but right now as we just learned in the last few minutes or so that security guard is expected to survive right now in just the last 10 minutes or so Phoenix police wrapping up their investigation at least here on scene but still have plenty more work to do to try to figure out exactly how this crash all happened lots of questions that they are still trying to piece together with this ongoing investigation Back live now, 12 News did reach out to Valley Metro to get a statement or comment or any other additional details we could learn about this, uh, about this crash, about what happened. So far, we have yet to hear back from them, but we will be staying in contact with them along with Phoenix Police to get more answers about how this all happened. We are live tonight in Phoenix. I'm Jonathan McCall, 12 News. All right, Jonathan, thank you.